Hello, this is Easy Target coming back at you with another Diablo 3 Challenge Rift video. This is Challenge Rift Week 71. And as you can see on screen, we have a Demon Hunter. If you haven't already, please go ahead and subscribe. I sure would appreciate it. It would really help me out and also give you weekly updates. Current Challenge Rift every Monday. But other than that, let's go ahead and jump on into the game and see what we're working with. Alright, and for our abilities, we have Reign of Vengeance, Marked for Death, Companion, Smoke screen, evasive fire, and multi shot. Taking a look at the passives, we have hot pursuit, ambush, call of the weak, steady aim. Taking a quick look at the gear, looks like we got Nathalia set. And it looks like you get increased damage after you use Reign of Vengeance and take less damage and also take less damage. Nice little weapon, gives you an absorbed shield to absorb some of the damage taken. Very nice there. All right, and this is how I'm gonna go about using the skills here. I'm basically just gonna be using your Reign of Vengeance just to go ahead and get your damage reduction uh, started and your damage uh, increase started. You just pop it down. That does a huge amount of damage. So you wanna go ahead and pop that on uh, the biggest groups, the elites, uh, it pops up a lot. So it, um, you have a cooldown whenever you're using your evasive fire that it uh, reduces the cooldown of your Reign of Vengeance, so the Reign of Vengeance like almost always is up. So I would just keep pounding it down, especially on the Elites. Just go ahead and do, whenever it pops up, go ahead and hit it again, let it go down. Uh, if you need a little bit extra damage, I would go ahead and pop down Marked for Death ability here. I would use that for maybe the Elites or whatnot. The Trash I don't think is really a big deal. Maybe you can pop it down and then it'll just trickle along to the other enemies around and you don't have to worry about it too much but uh, that's just a skill that I, I think that you won't really need uh, the companion I don't think you really need for the actual active ability and then your smoke screen I don't think you really need that if you need the extra survivability whenever you're going through by all means do it but I feel like if you go by my guide here you won't be able to you won't need that almost forgot to mention that you do want to be alternating between evasive fire and firing that multi shot occasionally just go ahead so you can get your 100% uh, bonus otherwise you're just going to be getting 50% uh, bonus if you're just using your evasive fire so you do want to alternate that every so often whenever you hit with one of those abilities you get 5 seconds uh, damage increase so you get 50% damage increase for evasive fire and then 50% damage increase for multi shot so you just want to keep alternating between those as you're going through just to go ahead and get that extra 100% damage increase really helps out and then you can go ahead and multi that drop that multi shot right on top of the uh, elites and it'll take off a lot of their health if not kill them right away good luck on this let's go ahead and pop on into the rift and see how we can do Alright, just starting off, I'm just going to go ahead and use my Rain of Vengeance to go ahead and activate the Multiplier. Then I'm going to go ahead and use my Evasive Fire and my Multi-Shot. Just keep on re rinse and repeating on the way through. I don't really use the other abilities on the bar. Maybe I accidentally will touch them, but marking an enemy can help out by giving you 15% extra damage, but not really necessary. I could use it on Elites, maybe to make it a little bit faster. But other than that, you just want to go ahead and use the Rain of Vengeance, Evasive Fire, and multi shot and you're good to go keep going through kiting them killing all the trash you want to kill as much of the trash as possible try to go through as many of the areas as you can this is a floor clear so you can go ahead and clear most mobs throughout the level don't spend too much time on them but just keep on pushing through and taking them out and you should have enough time right at the end of the third level you may have to pop into the fourth floor just to finish it up by killing the first elite in there is right off the bat. Thank you very much for stopping by and watching my video. Sure to appreciate it. Hopefully the maps and the elite placements helped you out with my overview of the skills and abilities. If you need any help, go ahead and leave a comment down in this section. If you have a better way to run it, please go ahead and also leave a comment down in this section. But this is Easy Target, and I'm out.